cable termination to the oil field bushing. This is an example of the power cable analysis. The cable rated voltage is 64 kilovolts, frequency is 50 hertz. To connect the cable to the bushing, we need to strip all cable layers, all but the conductor. In the place where the cable screen ends, there is a high electric field gradient, high electric field stress, which may exceed the breakdown voltage of the insulation. Stress comb with a reflector are used to grade the electric field. Still, there are some places in this device where the electric field stress might be high. Our task is to calculate the electric field stress distribution. OK, let's start quick field now. In quick field, I create new problem. Cable termination. Next. Problem type is AC conduction. Frequency is 50 Hz. The cable termination features rotational symmetry, so the model class is axisymmetric. Length units are millimeters. Finish. Here you can draw the geometry model or you can input the geometry model from the AutoCAD DXF file. I already have the model prepared, so I will import the model from the file. Cable termination. In axisymmetric problems, the axis of rotation is a horizontal one, and I need only the upper half of the cross section. So I switch to insert mode, draw the line here, switch to select objects mode, select the objects below the axis and remove them. And I believe I will need to add the air to the model, switch to insert mode and draw the air block boundary. OK. Now let's assign labels. For labels, you can explain the geometric object's meaning and provide the material properties. Switch to select objects mode, click the object to select and type in the label name here. This is air. This is insulation of the cable. This is oil. Now let's zoom in. This is insulator. This is stress cone body. This is deflector. This is a semiconducting tape or semiconducting insert. This is conductor. There is no electric field stress inside conductor. So I do not assign label to the body. Instead, I assign label to the conductor surface. High voltage. This is conducting plate. Again, I do not assign label to the conductor. Instead, I select and assign label to edges. Zero. And this thin layer is the insulation screen, which has zero electric potential. I do not assign label to block, I assign label to edges. Zero. Now let's provide physical properties for these labels. Double click the label name in the tree. Electric electric permittivity of the air is 1. Deflector electrical permittivity is 2.5. And electrical conductivity is 0.002 Siemens per meter. Insulator electrical permittivity is 2.3. Oil electrical permittivity is 12. 
semiconductor electrical permittivity is 3 and there are some small value of electrical conductivity 0, 0, 0, 0002 okay stress cone electrical permittivity is 22 and polyethylene electrical permittivity is 2.28 now let's specify the electric potential this edge has electric potential 0 and the cable conductor has electric potential of 64 kilovolts in fact this is the root mean square value here i should specify the magnitude of the sinusoidal wave so i should multiply the root mean square value by the square root of 2 okay now the geometry model is ready before i can run the analysis i should build the fine internet mesh just Press this button and the mesh will be generated. Now save all problem files and solve the problem. Let's take a look at the results. Now you can zoom in and check the electric field stress distribution in each potentially problematic zone. You can use the local values tool, click any point, and get the electric field stress at this point. Also, you can use the contour tool, click to select the surface, or draw the arbitrary contour in any direction, and get the field distribution along this contour on the XY plot. And the exact values you can see in the table. Coordinates, electric potential, electric field stress. This week we field can help you to design the reliable cable termination and calculate the electric field stress attribution. If you search for the cable termination to oil field pushing on our website, you will find the example page. Here you can read about problem setup, browse the solution section, look at the resulting pictures and download the simulation files. Simulation files may be opened and the results may be viewed using any Quickfield edition, including Quickfield Student Edition, that you can download from our website for free.